Hey, what's up guys? Um, so we're here at the property. This is our uh, property out in Corpus Christi. Um, it, she is rough. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you through uh, to take a look with me and see how it goes from the very beginning to looking beautiful and making us lots of money. Here we go. So, Alright guys, so let's walk out to the I'm gonna walk out to the neighborhood here. Take a look, it's a decent neighborhood. And I have clean houses along the way. And here we are. Overgrown front yard, weeds in the driveway. Got a nice clean house here. Alright, and there she is brick house so just looking at it guys from the beginning we, we bought this house for a hundred and twenty four thousand uh, it's a hoarder house <clears throat> it'll probably appraise at around 275 280 once it's fully complete and renovated uh, but we're gonna take you through you can follow along with me in my journey here uh, Picking properties up, fixing them up, and putting them in our portfolio. And here we go for this one. It's a nice summer Texas day, super humid. It's about 95 degrees, it was 100 degrees earlier, it's starting to cool off a little bit. Um, but here we go, let's go into this thing. Got the garage door open, you can see that these guys had a ton of trash believe it or not guys this is not too bad compared to some of the places we go into at my other job a uh, nice chair here all right so looking at this guys you know when we come out and look take a look at the gutters from the outside you can tell that they're kind of rusted out they're gonna need to re be replaced this roof is in not too bad a shape it's probably got another five to seven years of life left uh, it's looking pretty good a lot of the brick still looks good not a lot of cracks and a lot of mortar missing there are some spots that will have to be remortared, uh, but it doesn't look in too bad a shape the windows will definitely have to come out and be replaced got a crack there above the uh, entryway okay let's get into this thing guys here we are I have a little bit of power I wish that I could tell you guys the kind of odors I'm smelling in here this is the living room dark and dingy but they had a nice big screen TV uh, this is something you can take a look at right here guys when you look come in and take a look at your vents and you see nothing but uh, Grime and insulation coming through the vents That's a pretty clear sign that the rats have eaten through all the ductwork and that that's going to need to be replaced And come over here. We got the f Fireplace uh, With some cracking and some drywall separation there Looks like there was a moisture issue. We did talk to the, uh, a roofer came out. Turns out that the chimney cap uh, needs to be repaired and that's where the moisture was coming from. So not too bad, the flashing was in good shape. The rest of the roof is in uh, good shape. So that's a bonus for us because we did budget to replace the, the roof. Uh, we're gonna probably scrape the popcorn ceilings uh, pull actually pull the drywall here and redo it uh, That's an interesting piece. It's Kind of like a I don't know they got the fireplace built-in cabinets Separating the dining room and the living room. Look at all that guys That is awesome All right So we did get this at a steeper discount because we took it 
uh, with all the trash included. <laughs> um, and that probably took another $12,000 off the purchase price of the house, which was great. Um, because it's going to cost me probably, after talking to a couple people already, the, it's going to cost me about 2000 bucks to uh, have a guy come in here and clean this out for me. Uh, we were lucky to find the right people in here. So, And I think the cost of work and labor here is cheaper than it is back on the West Coast. So you have some type of, uh, looks like, I don't know what you call this. You call it like a, uh, maybe a bartender's uh, pantry. Uh, but you have a little walk space here. Look at that. Commercial garbage can. Love it. Water purifier. You got a bottle of wine. Here's the dining room, guys. There's a dining room table back there. Tons of boxes back there. Uh, with the built-in on the other side. Uh, you got the laundry room. I'll have to come and force that door because the lock's messed up. Uh, look at that, a hang loose. Love it. Uh, you got some beeping here, electric appliances. Yeah, we took it all. Guys, we are going to turn this thing into a gem when we get done with it. But some of the typical things you see in a fixer upper and hoarder house. We're coming down the hallway here. Here's the furnace, the air return. So we're coming on down. Got the bathroom straight ahead. We have a three bedroom house. You can come in here and take a look. You can see the air vents. This looks like maybe the master bedroom. Smells like pot in here. Um, I don't know if they had squatters in here or this was just uh, damage. Look, you got a little master bathroom back here. Sorry, there's two bathrooms. Right there's this. This is a little master bath, master bedroom with the in-suite bathroom. So we'll come out here. Here's the bathroom at the end of the hallway, just full of trash. Like everything was left here as is. I'm gonna come over here. That was bedroom number one. Here's bedroom number two. Looks like they had an office. And got some stuff back here computer equipment. We're gonna kind of go through this, guys. You never know that you might find and a lot of this trash may be some valuables that will add to your cash flow numbers here is the third bedroom did have a bed in here kind of smaller bedroom we plan to use this for airbnb or maybe midterm rentals they do have a hospital that's probably less than five minutes away and as you can see, it's going to be quite a bit of work. But guys, don't be turned off by that. All right? This, when you see this stuff like this, you should be seeing money signs. Because this just tells you that you have a lot of room to negotiate prices when you take homes like this. Because this is somebody's headache that definitely... Other, most people don't want to deal with but we're gonna take it on and we're gonna fix this place up beautiful guys I just want to tell you uh, man it's hot I'm sweating I'm still waiting for a couple more contractors to come on by um, but this is it guys this is where we make our money all right this is a uh, you find properties like this. We bought this at almost under 50 cents on the dollar. This was a good buy. Um, once we get complete, we're probably going to be able to refinance this out. All of the money that we invested right back in our pocket at the end of six months once we're done with the renovation. 
Uh, <clears throat> after that, guys, that was almost like a free house, right? We got a house, beautiful, you know, in six months' time, we'll have a beautiful home, renting out, cash flowing, significantly under market value. And all of the money we use to invest in this property is going to be right back in our pocket so we can go back and do it again. So guys, just follow with me. We're going to take a lot of pictures and, and record this whole process, this whole journey. Uh, you guys follow along with me. Um, I'm going to show you all the ups and downs and, and the things we go through dealing with contractors, picking out materials. Uh, figuring this all out later on. I'm going to give you the analysis that we did before we bought the property and Things we go through to find properties and get properties like this uh, and uh, make it uh, Profitable so stick around. All right Hey guys before you leave please like and subscribe and sign the notification bell so you can catch all our latest videos coming out. Thanks again. Bye